Hi, this is Jason from the QuickBooks team. With QuickBooks Desktop Payroll, you can pay employees with direct deposit to transfer and deposit funds directly into their bank accounts in two business days. Let's learn how to set up and use direct deposit, and then take a look at what your employees see in QuickBooks Workforce. First, you set up the business's bank account you'll use to pay employees. Select Employees, My Payroll Service, then activate Direct Deposit. Note that you need to be an admin to access your payroll service. Then select Get Started. In the Business tab, select Review and fill in information about the business, such as business type, federal EIN, and address. Then select Your Industry and Next. Fill in information about the principal officer. The principal officer is an authorized signer on the business's bank account. Then select Next. Select Add New Bank Account. Enter the name of your bank and then your online banking username and password. Security varies by bank and you may need to perform other steps, like two-step verification. You may also need to choose between different accounts, such as your checking and savings accounts. And if prompted, enter your bank's routing and account numbers. Enter a name for the account. And select Next. Accept and Submit. Next, you create a PIN. You'll use this PIN anytime you send payroll info for processing. Select Submit, then OK. The next step is to verify your bank account. Wait up to two business days and check your bank account for a transaction under a dollar from Intuit QuickBooks Payroll. Some bank accounts will skip this step. When you see it in your bank account, open QuickBooks and select Employees, My Payroll Service, Activate Direct Deposit. Enter the dollar amount of the transaction you saw earlier and select Verify. Now it's time to set up your employees' direct deposit information. Select Employees and double-click the employee's name. Then select the Payroll Info tab, Direct Deposit. Select Use Direct Deposit and fill out their bank account details, including their bank's name, routing number, and account number. Select OK and enter your direct deposit PIN when prompted. The process is the same whenever you set up a new employee and enter their direct deposit info. Later, run payroll like you normally do. It takes up to two business days to process direct deposit payments, so if you want employees to receive their pay on payday, you should run payroll earlier than you would with paper checks. You can see that you are paying an employee with direct deposit from the direct deposit column. When you finish running payroll, QuickBooks asks if you want to print pay stubs for your direct deposit employees. If you use QuickBooks Workforce, your employees can also see their pay stubs on that site. Then select Send to Intuit. Review the information in Items to Send. If everything looks right, select Send All. Enter the payroll PIN you entered earlier and select OK. After you've sent the information, you can see a confirmation report in the Items Received section. Now you're ready to set up and pay employees with direct deposit in QuickBooks Desktop.